Hello, my name is Manuel Lopez. I'm your host for Artistic Visions of Tampa. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, as always, we have a special guest. Uh, this, in this case, it's a local artist living and working in the Tampa Bay area. Well, I'd like to welcome Giovanni Bosch to the show. Thank Hello. you very much. My pleasure to be here. Our pleasure. Thanks for being with us. The purpose of the show, as you know, is to uh, have the community learn about artists that are working and living in Tampa. Uh, besides showing their work, my intention is to show them a piece of who you are as a, as a person. Uh, we will visit your studio in a little while and we'll see all your work. But in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about who you are and your experiences and how you got to this point. Uh, we're fortunate to have you here, and I'd like for the community to know more about what that path looked like. I know that uh, originally you're from Cuba, right? That's right. Yes, I was born in Santa Clara City, one of the main cities of Cuba. Everybody knows Havana. I, my city is in the center of the island. And, of course, I went to Havana also to, stu to study, to finish my uh, studies in art. I spent a uh, long time in in Havana because I did the National School of Arts and the, the Institute of uh, the Superior Institute of Art, which mm -hmm. is uh, named PISA. And that's a big school, I understand. Over it is the University of Art in Cuba. It's a big school. It has a very big recognition in the sure. United States, too. And it's a very good school. A lot of big names came out of uh, right. PISA. So I'm, I'm familiar with that. Yes. Uh, I know that there's a there was a, a particular event that happened in your life uh, early on when you were in Cuba. Uh, an opportunity presented itself. Uh, tell us tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Uh, well, I did uh, work very hard and present my work in different shows while I was living in Cuba. And then there was an opportunity when in 1994 I was invited. For a friend of mine that I knew there, it was a student, a university student, to go to Sweden, and he said there is a an international show in Sweden that it will take place in January, and uh, that would be the Spring Salon. It's uh, in the Swedish they say Lille uh, Vars for Salon. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I went to Sweden. I got my invitation. I went there and I submit my word to the show. And fortunately, uh, I got into uh, you know, my, the pieces that I that I present. Uh, all the three of them got into the show, mm. and it was a very good experience and a very good uh, start for me there in Sweden. What I spent, what I spent like a year and a month. Okay, that's a outstanding opportunity, and and life is like that. You know, it presents opportunities. Sometimes we see them and take advantage of them, sometimes we, we miss them. And in this case, you, you I, saw it and jumped on it. And, yes, uh, yes, that's right, I did. I'm happy for that. Too. That's excellent. And then from Sweden, you spend the, the uh, year and a month, and then I understand you went to another completely different country after that. Yes, that's right. Uh, I lived there in Sweden for that long, but I never had the opportunity to stay and I was uh, committed to my family too. I had my kids in Cuba, and my idea was to uh, bring them into the country, to Sweden, of course. But I couldn't do that. I didn't get uh, my residency mm. uh, on, the, on the time that I was expecting to happen. And then I found another opportunity to go to Costa Rica, in which uh, I, you know, had the opportunity to, to bring them. Uh, very soon, it, will, okay. it took a month only to do that in Costa Rica, which I am very glad and very uh, thankful to the country for that. So that was my first move, you know, from one place to the other. In Costa Rica, I lived for three years and a half before I came to the United States in 1994. I'm mean, 1999. Okay, and you have uh, the two kids you're talking about. You have two kids, right? Yes, Abraham and, and Amanda. Those are my precious side. Uh, that's my pride is that, that of know, course my, my kids uh, they are grown now I mean they're 22 and 19 years old okay boy and a girl okay and uh, you stayed in Costa Rica and worked for a few years uh, 
I understand that the art scene in Costa Rica was not the same as it was in, in Sweden. Uh, Sweden, you know, being Europe, yes. uh, it's understandable that it's a little more active. Uh, is that right? Costa That's Rica correct. is not Yes. A, Unfortunately, Costa Rica is a small place and uh, they have a community of art artists there, but it's, it's not a sad lake in Sweden, and not like in the United States, you know. It's just two little things happening there. Uh, the more things happen there, in, in, in it's pretty much a kind of local place. Okay. But I did uh, have the time to show my, my work there uh, once, at least once. But I work a lot during the three years and a half. I work a lot for a show that I was invited later. So I think I took uh, advantage of my time there and I worked a lot of my in my personal artwork. Okay. Then mm -hmm. uh, from there, you came to the States, right? Uh, That's right. New Jersey, Illinois, you've been in, in several yes. places before uh, settling here in Tampa. That's right. Yes, I, I moved to, uh, I mean, I was invited to the um, uh, Garrett Evangelical Seminar. I'm, I'm sorry, it's the uh, Evangelical Seminar in Garrett. Okay. That's Illinois. And at Northwestern uh University. Uh, that, that's the where it's located. Right. Northwestern University, uh, Garrett too. Uh, and then uh, a show there. I was invited for the one man show. And after that, uh, I moved to New Jersey, where I spent two years and a half. And before I moved down to Tampa, okay. I've been here for five years now. I want to know, uh, Giovanni, where getting to to the tail end of the of the interview here before we move to your studio but uh tell me of, of all the experiences you had was there one that had uh, a huge impact on you and and, and what was it yes uh, there's one that i always remember in my way to sweden i uh, we stopped in spain and i lived uh i i mean i was there for for a day i would say a little bit more than a day uh, and I took the opportunity to go to the Prado Museum, which I had seen a lot of works that are in, in show there, just in books. And I really a great fan of uh, the um, Fl uh, Flanders uh, for the, uh, the Flemish, the Flemish artwork, mm -hmm. especially the, the the old Flemish uh, painters, the Van Gogh and Jeronimo Bosch, uh, Roger Dam van der Weyden. Those are one of my favorite artists. The old, old masters. Yeah, the old masters. Mm -hmm. And then I saw those art uh, artworks there, and really impressed me a lot. Uh, I saw also Velázquez and El Greco, the the, the Flemish and Velázquez and El Greco were the ones that really impressed me the most. And after that experience, I felt like it, I had, you know, to say something really personal because it's almost impossible to go over these masters, sure. you, know, it's, you know, even to get closer to them, it would be a challenge for life, right. which I'm trying to do, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's my goal in a way, not, not to emulate them, but not uh, in the same way they did, but you know, on my path, my, my personal path, I will do something, uh, hopefully, that they get uh, to that level, to that highness. Sure, <laughs> okay. That's my, my goal. And uh, we're going to be seeing uh, some of your work uh, shortly. Uh, but at this point, I thank you, Giovanni, for being on the show. My and I uh, wish you the best in terms of uh, your artistic career. I know you do very well. And again, my name is Manuel Lopez, your host for Artistic Visions of Tampa. On behalf of our producer, Victor Garcia, I thank you very much for being with us. And stay tuned for the next show. Thank you. I would like someone else would say about what they consider are my best attributes as an artist. In my personal opinion, is the honesty in doing what pleased me to create because my work is a response to my needs.
I first of all do it for myself. I'm not a follower of what is fashion in art or what had been labeled as Cuban art, just to put on a sample. I also believe that is my attribute to be sensible to the reality that I live in, even though it is will be never understood in my artistic creations. Well, first to be with my children, Abraham and Amanda, to talk, play, and go out with them, to know about their lives, and so. I also enjoy the silence and music of nature. I enjoy animals. My favorite one is my dog, Kishi. I love to travel. I love women visit museums and the cities with their architecture. For the most part, my art is an interpretation and a philosophical view of certain aspect of life which I related with. Those aspects include personal experiences with religion, individuals, and society. Many of the things that had motivated the themes of the artwork I had done and I still do were not happy experiences but they they became an inspiration for me to transform the pain into a world where I pursue certain kind of perfection and I may add to this I'm not trying to represent or create a perfect world or so in my artwork it is how I craft it that I intend to make it beautiful. hope for my artwork in the future to be displayed in places where it can be appreciated like museums, publics and private collections. I definitely wish to see my work in my homeland Cuba in the National Museum of Art in Havana but overall that it could be in the memory of those who enjoy it like I do with the artwork from other masters 
that I enjoy always and I keep in my memory and of course for my close family to have some of my legacy with them forever. Mm -hmm. 